can I just run through that and kind of apply it to Summit? Um, I can talk a little bit about kind of our experiences at Huddersfield, kind of why we needed this kind of technology <coughs> trigger inside of looking for something. Uh, so we had a federated search product, which was rubbish. Our librarians hated it, students hated it, faculty hated it. It was just really not going down well. Um, OPAX, I'd say, are even worse. Certainly ours is. Um, a lot of students were going straight to Google Scholar. A lot of um, academics were telling their students to use Google Scholar rather than go to the library. We were seeing around about 25% of the traffic to the link was all coming from Google Scholar. Uh, so we felt we've got to do something. We're kind of losing our audience here. Um, but yeah, so we kind of like to poke holes in Google Scholar all day long. Um, but it's great, students love it. And going back a few years, whole library 2.0 thing was about moving away from having things in different places within the library and trying to kind of bring everything together. So for us, that was the technology trigger of going out and looking for something to replace our federated search product. Um, so I think it was probably either March or April 2009. Uh, we had a bunch of presentations. I remember Halef giving a presentation in a very early version of Summon and um, collected the round table our jaws dropped. This is exactly what we wanted. So we got really excited. A single search box, brilliant. Uh, it indexes pretty much everything. Fantastic. No federated search. We were so keen to move away from federated search. Uh, brilliant. We don't need to teach databases anymore. Fantastic. This is so, so brilliant. And finally, our mark records actually get used properly. Uh, kind of all those kind of works going to them. We'll all get exposed by all the facets. Brilliant. Fantastic. So, so, so exciting. We've got a new toy. Brilliant. So we're just really excited. Um, well, I don't think we realized kind of back then, increasingly I've seen presentations recently talking about discovery as disruptive technology. Um, I'd say certainly some is disruptive technology. I'm not convinced that all discovery services are built uh, the same way. Um, I think some are more disruptive than others. But any disruptive technology is essentially something that's going to change the way you work. Um, yeah, so uh, I think sort of we've certainly seen that, that we've had to kind of adopt and kind of change the way someone works uh, because our students are using it in ways we're not necessarily expecting that kind of thing. Uh, so I kind of remember some of our librarians kind of going straight down to the Tropical Solution. And, uh, interestingly, for many of the things that we kind of got excited about, it's got a single search box. How do we do advanced searching? How do we teach students Boolean if they're just using a single search box? Um, yeah, some of them, okay, it doesn't index literally everything that's out there. Uh, certainly some of the platforms that begin uh, with an E, uh, <laughs> not everything is in there. Um, and that became quite a big issue for some of my librarians. I said, oh, we're not going to teach someone because it doesn't have 100% of this database. It's got 98%. That's not good enough. I think increasingly we kind of found that um, some of our staff are kind of getting fixated perhaps on the wrong things. Uh, so it's in our federated search. We can't search the stuff for those law databases that aren't in some. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to still need to teach database interfaces. And huh, all our music scores, where are they? They're in copy catalog. There's audio CD. So, I guess like a lot of you, when you put your mark records into so many, you suddenly discovered that uh, some of your catalog is a bit crappy and you're going to need to do some work on them. Um, so we're kind of sad kitten this for a while. <laughs> um, but as I say, I think sometimes you can't see the woods for the trees, uh, especially if you're kind of applying, um, I guess, kind of your, your mindset to traditional databases. Now, I know kind of Matt's going to switch on some of this, so I won't steal this from there. Um, so yeah, I kind of think some of us kind of wallowed for a little bit longer in the trough. Um, but then we started to climb up the slope. So what are the kind of things we started to see? Well, students almost immediately said they loved Summer. We ran it in parallel with our federated search engine, and immediately students gravitated across them to Summer. Um, so we're getting really, really good feedback. Um, what we've seen as well is research and academics love it as well. Not everybody, that would be kind of wrong to say that, but the majority seem to have kind of adopted it as another tool they can use to find stuff. Um, like I guess a lot of you, we've seen our e-resource usage just go through the roof. Um, for a lot of platforms, 400, 500% increase in that first year in accounts and download stats was the norm. Um, which in one way is brilliant, but that kind of makes it a little bit harder to do any cancellations because suddenly everything is being used pretty much. Um, and I think initially we tried to put everything into Summit, uh, including a lot of open access stuff. And I think we kind of realized well, maybe this, we don't need to put everything in there. Some of these platforms have really iffy interfaces that students struggle with. Um, perhaps 
we can take some of those out and you really won't detract from the experience. Uh, as a developer, uh, trying to get cool down with the kids, uh, the API is Toast and Apples. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic to play around with. So we've been able to kind of develop a whole bunch of new services for the library based off the Summer Night API. It's been really, really fun to do. Uh, so that leads me now onto the plateau of productivity. So I think that's why we're here today. Uh, so I think, perhaps show of hands, who's had Summon for, uh, let's say, three years or more? Okay, so we're the old timers. Okay, you want to be asking us questions. A couple of years? Uh, maybe a year implemented last year. That's quite a few of you. Uh, anybody's kind of getting just ready, kind of geared up to launch for this academic year? Okay. So we've kind of a lot of different experiences around the room, and I'm sure kind of on that curve you may be in different places. Um, I think this is really, today is going to be all about sharing of experience. No matter where you are on that curve, um, I'm sure we can all teach each other something, or we can all learn something from today. So, today is going to be all about that kind of sharing, the toys, and uh, that kind of thing. I think that's all I'm going to say. Um, so, let me close that down. Are there any kind of questions? I'm not sure there would be from a presentation like that, but if anybody has any questions or comments, please feel free to check them. Oh, the silence. In that case, I shall invite uh, Matt to come up and get us off ready. Uh, I should probably do a little tap dance for a couple of minutes just to <laughs> cover Matt and uh, so while you yeah. tap dance in, if you can leave the webinar that will also be one for the whatever you just want to explain the work out and then do the files and the webinar. Hello, where are you guys from? Glasgow. Anyone further than Glasgow? I don't count Denmark. No? What about the north of England? North of England. Where are you from? Newcastle. Newcastle. Oh, Glasgow is slightly further, isn't it? It's still further north than It is further north than Matthew, you're absolutely right. I've got one pack of buttons for the furthest people. <laughs> so you have to share. Sorry. <laughs> So, if you'd come, instead of attending the webinar, you could have got buttons. <laughs> okay, let's, um, how do I do this today? Show my screen. Yep. Just go to show my screen. And then just find up the mouse button. That's on this camera icon. Okay, so that's where it comes on. And just do webcams. Uh, that's right. the one. Yeah, that's good. So, just 